Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I've come to the attractive village of Harmonsworth in the London borough of Hillingdon. It has a feeling of being quite a rural, I can almost say peaceful village, except you can probably hear the sound of aircraft. That's because we are very close to Heathrow Airport. In fact, so close, hmm, nice beetle. Um, so close that if they build the third runway, be just behind those houses there. Now this isn't a video to complain about the third runway. I've simply come here to look around this village because it is a historic village but I just thought I'd point out just because people will probably wonder where is it going to be. It will be like literally along there. So where I'm walking now all of this will be okay. This road will be okay but where that car there is going about now that's where the third runway boundary will be. You can see the planes taking up, you can certainly hear them. So what we're going to do though, um, we're just going to sort of try and ignore the aircraft sound for a bit and we're going to see the historic sites of the village because as you can see it really is quite an attractive village. I've noticed there's quite a lot of other people here who seem to be visiting the village to sightsee because it is an attractive village. It's got some very historic sites which we're going to get onto in a minute. I like that building there, it's called the Gable Stores. That's the, um, the village shop. So there's two pubs, there's the Crown over there. There's the Five Bells here. It's a bit early in the day I think to go for a pint, so I probably won't do that now, maybe later. It's quite an attractive cottage. Now this is the one of the things people come to the village to see, is this church, St Mary's Church in Harmonsworth. Now, um, I don't think it's open. I had a look earlier. Uh, we'll try it again, but I don't think it is open, which is a shame, but maybe we'll come back here another day. It's not the easiest church to get pictures of because there's so many trees around it, but it really is quite an attractive little church. And I was worried that it was facing demolition for the third runway, but I've been told it's out of the firing line. So let's see, I think it's going to be locked there. Yeah, that's a shame. Let's go around the outside. So this is obviously the tower, and we go round here, and um, there's a more modern church hall bit round the back, I want to take you round to the graveyard, so it's a bit unusual church. Now, I'm just going to point out, we're going to go and have a look, I like this view over the fence here, that there, that is Harmonsworth Barn, and um, it's one of, was once the biggest barn in England, but more on that in a minute. Well, we'll go and see that, because that is really quite spectacular. So going round the back now of the church and the church hall, into the main part of the graveyard. It's quite a large graveyard. It's a bit more peaceful. Still hear the aircraft sound. but it really doesn't feel like this is a village in suburban London. We're in the London borough of Hillingdon, so this is London, but it just has that kind of, it, it's sort of rural feeling, apart from obviously the aircraft noise. I just don't feel like I'm in London. I feel like I'm, I don't know, in Surrey or somewhere in the home counties. It has that feel to it. So we've been around the church now, the graveyard, carries on that way so I won't go down there today we'll have another look now at the church it's a shame we couldn't go inside but perhaps we'll come back one day I'm sure there'll be another opportunity to see inside so here's the church so it's not the easiest church to get pictures of because there's so many trees around it but it's a very attractive little church what we're going to do now though we're going to go and see the barn so the barn is owned by English Heritage but it's run by friends of the Harmonsworth barn so it's free to visit it's open on the um, the second and fourth Sunday of every month quite convenient really because there's a miniature railway up the road which has the same opening dates which is where I'll go to after here so as we walk up here we're now coming towards the front of where the farm was now this building here that would be the old farmhouse I'm not sure what it's used as now, but I'll have a look through the gate. It's possibly offices. I don't think it's a residential property. So there's the farmhouse. I'm not going to go through the gate because I think it is private 
property, but we can go through this gate. So get to here on the church fence. It says tells you Harmonsworth Great Barns. It's a medieval timber frame barn. It was built in 1426 to 1427, and it is free to visit. And as we come through here, there it is in front of us. That's so a really impressive building. It was described by John Betjeman as being the Cathedral of Middlesex because of course before Greater London came the way it was this would have been the old county of Middlesex pretty much all of which is now part of Greater London although I believe Staines was in Middlesex and that is now in Surrey. There's a granary building there on those toadstool like things. I'm not quite sure why it's raised up maybe it's something to do with the drying of um, the crops possibly I would have thought. Anyway this is the barn. I think they had a fire at this end because I can see some of the wood is quite charred. So there's the, the church is just over there. See what I mean about it? I said it's hard to get pictures of it. There's just trees all round it. There's a more modern building which I think is built with a bit of a nod towards the look of the barn. And then this is, we'll go and have a look in the barn. It is quite spectacular inside and it might be slightly less noisy away from the noise of aeroplanes taking off. So here we go. So as you can see it's um, really quite an impressive structure. It's, um, it's about I think it's 192 feet long and high as well, 30 odd feet. I think um, it's really, really impressive. Look at the scenery. So, yeah, very impressive. And this is also outside of the firing line to Third Runway. Let's go down here, friend. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's open to the public today run by friends at the Harmsworth Barns, you can come and visit it, it's free to visit, it's really worth coming to see, it's a lovely village, you just got to put up with the aircraft noise, you see here where the tire would have been, see look, all, the, all the timbers are charred, but it's all been, had a lot of restoration work take place about five years ago, right down the barn, that way, so, cathedral of Middlesex, John Betjeman called it, and I, I agree with him. Yeah, so it's 192 feet long, it's 37 feet wide, and it's 39 feet high. So yeah, it's very, very impressive. Let's go back outside, back to the sound of aircraft. And uh, that is the Great Harmonsworth Barn for you. And as you can see over there, there's a plane taking off. And there's St. Mary's Church. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are ever in this area of West London on the second or third Sunday of the month, then you know do come and visit it. It's really worth coming to see. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.